it's me, Jen. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be looking at the MDS look back time frames. So we're going to cover all of the sections of the MDS and what the specific look back time frame is. So if you're wondering how far you should look back to code your MDS, you've come to the right place. So let's get started. We're going to start by looking at the assessment reference date also known as the ARD date. The ARD is the last day of the look back period. So this is the last day that you can collect data for the MDS. The REI manual states that the ARD is the endpoint for the look back period. The RAI also instructs the users that there are different time frames for which we can collect data for information to complete the MDS. So in this video, we're going to look at those time frames that you're going to be using to collect data to complete the MDS. Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you about the look back time frame. The look back time frame is seven days. Day one starts at 12 a.m. on day one. The end date, the ARD date, ends on day seven at 11.59 p.m. The typical time frame for the MDS is seven days. So you have the start date to the end date to capture the data that you need to code the MDS, unless the MDS section specifies another time frame. On this screen, you have section K through V. You can click any section on this page and it will take you to that time frame so that you can review it. Many of the sections on the MDS have a 7 to 14 day look back time frame. The REI manual tells us that if there is not a time frame specified in that section, then we are to use a 7 day look back period unless that section of the MDS says otherwise. In this example, if our ARD was January 7th, our look back time frame would be January 1st through January 7th. K 0100A through K 0100D have a 7 day look back time frame. Section K 0200 height and weight have a 30 day look back time frame, so you can look back 30 days to obtain that height and weight. Section K 0300 and K 0310 weight loss and weight gain have two look back time frames. The first time frame is a 30 day look back and the second time frame is a 180 day look back. K0510 and K0710 have a seven day look back time frame. Section L0200A through Z have a seven day look back time frame. Pressure ulcer or injury M0100 through M1200 have a seven day look back time frame. That's why it's so important to make sure you conduct your wound rounds on the same day every week. Section N medications N0300 through N0410H have a seven day look back time frame. So you'll look during that seven days to see if any of the medications were given and code the medications that were given during that seven day time frame. Section N0450 through N2001 will look all the way back to the last GDR. So we'll look through the chart to determine the date the last gradual dose reduction had been completed. Section O0100 is special treatments, procedures, and programs. The look back time frame is 14 days for this section. Section O0400A through F and O0500A through J is a seven day look back period for therapies and restorative nursing. Section O0250 through O0300 are vaccines. 
You'll be looking back through the record to determine if the influenza vaccine was given during this year's flu season and to see if the resident's pneumo vaccine is up to date. Make sure to check with your REI manual for the flu season and the CDC for the guidelines for the pneumonia vaccine. Section P0100, Physical Restraints, you'll have a seven-day look-back time frame for that item. In P0200, Alarms, you have a seven-day look-back period as well. Section Q0100, Participation and Assessment, is a seven-day look-back time frame. Section Z, MDS completion date, and Section B, CAW completion date, have different time frames depending upon the assessment you are completing. The admission assessment, Section B and Section Z, should be signed by the 14th day of the resident's stay. For an annual assessment, Section Z and Section B should be signed 14 days after the ARD. So that's the ARD date plus 14 days. Non-comprehensive assessments, such as a quarterly, should also have Section Z signed by 14 days after the ARD. For more videos like this one, please select the subscribe button so you can have access to all of our wonderful videos. As always, have an amazing day and thanks for learning with Jen.